Alright. Gotta make sure everything's working before I start, you know? Should be good to go. Dusty recesses of their minds wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. <laughs> nice warm welcome. You're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot. Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. <sighs> You're a thief. <clears throat> well now, that's ironic. Let's do it. Come on. Oh. You got? Oh. This 
one's mine! Bare knuckle brawler. All right. Oh shit. I got too distracted with that trophy. the bartender. Why would he be in on it? This got out of hand in a hurry. Oh great. Supposed to block him, and I didn't. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready for more. You might. Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. 
Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Clowns? Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no, oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What? Upstairs. <sighs> it's gotta be in one of these cases. El museo cierra en quince minutos. Callejera, suerte, perro. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Quédate afuera. Pentejo. Keep 
up with him. Anyway, ah, now where did he go? Where is he going? Locked. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. Oh, come on! Are you fucking serious? doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, I don't want to rush it now, but can move it along? Yeah, I can't do that. Just that I've got a lady with her. Yeah, that's... Sí, sí, señor. Aquí lo tiene. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. spot him from the roof. Don't want to 
loser. Then run a little bit faster. <laughs> Why? You act like you're a criminal. I gotta find a way to get that wallet. Okay, it's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. The <laughs> technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid, the wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Oh boy. All right. Museum's closed. It's been forever since I played this game. I only played this game like once. And then after that, that was it. I played like the second game like multiple times. Back when it first came out. It was so much fun. Whoa. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring.
what ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cursed off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Oh boy, it's have to fail again! That should have been a checkpoint. Oh, crap. Who the hell are these guys? I'm glad it pointed me in the right direction or I would have been dead. Jet fail. Fuck. We've got it. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, I was right, I was going to fail once at least. and make it. Look what we have here. <laughs> Whoops. Are you all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? You gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are 
one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedy. Victor Solomon. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. You look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, well... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That... I'll be right back. I have to cut it short. There's been an emergency. But, uh, sorry, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I am going to continue this as soon as I come back. My apologies.